A blessed evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude the Deus will now begin. Please stand. St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, Desolations, endless pleading, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy cry and suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy cry and suppliant. Human hearts in desperation Meet the dreary toils of life Countless thousands have you strengthened We are your power in their strife Your warm love turns abating for the hopeless ever wailing saint of god magnificent hear thy cry and suppliant saint of god magnificent hear thy cry and suppliant in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to our devotion and novena to St. Jude Tadeus. We pray to St. Jude Tadeus uh, for those who are sick of uh, COVID-19. But um, the good news is that the number of uh, cases uh, has been uh, declining so uh, let us uh, still continue and um, we pray also for those who are still jobless um, but uh, gradually uh, when <coughs> the pandemic uh, has uh, really gone down then uh, they can uh, work again and so dear Saint Jude help us especially those who are financially hard up Saint Jude in his letter says may mercy peace and love be yours in abundance through the intercession of Saint Jude let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Jude that the church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Short reading. 
But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to Saint Jude Lord have mercy on us Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy on us Christ have mercy on us Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son Redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Saint Jude relative of Jesus and Mary pray for us Saint Jude raised to the dignity of an apostle. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the divine master, humble himself to wash his feet. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved master caused you, had a consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached us. the doctrine of Christ. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine master. Pray, Pray for, for us. Novena prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Saint Jude glorious, glorious Apostle, Apostle, faithful, faithful servant, servant and friend of Jesus, the name, the name of the person which we prayed our Lord, Lord has caused you to be forgotten, forgotten by, by many, but a true church, church invokes you universally as the patron of the desperate. Pray, pray for me, who is miserable. miserable. Pray, pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and the shelter of heaven and all my necessities, necessities tribulations and sufferings, particularly in the following. And that I may I'm bless God, God with the elect, elect throughout all eternity. eternity. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude worker of miracles, miracles please, please pray, pray for me. Saint Jude, Jude helper, helper of the hopeless, please, please pray, pray for me. me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal, eternal God, God, everlasting health to those who believe. believe. Hear Be us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Apostle, 
with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. So that ends our novena to St. Jude uh, Tadeus. And now we will uh, proceed to uh, our Eucharistic celebration. The brothers and sisters, let us uh, pause for a while to think of our failings and our uh, sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We pray to St. Callistus, who was a Pope and martyr. O God, who raised up Pope St. Callistus, the first to serve the Church and attend devoutly to Christ's faithful departed, strengthen us, we pray, by his witness to the faith to that rescued from the slavery of corruption we may merit an incorruptible inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by His grace through the redemption in Jesus Christ, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by His blood to prove His righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed, through the perseverance of God to prove His righteousness in the present time that he might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle? That of works? No, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles. For God is one and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. 
Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke glory to you O Lord <clears throat> the Lord said woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed consequently you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore the wisdom of God said, I'll send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world. For the blood of Abel, the blood of Zechariah, who died between altar and the temple buildings. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say my brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> the uh, gospel today is uh, again our Lord's uh, criticism against uh, the so-called uh, Pharisees and the scribes. Alam niyo po yung mga Pariseo at mga Escriba, sila po ay uh, uh, mga pinuno ng templo sila po yung mga uh, high priests at um, alam ninyo ang ating Panginoon ay uh, mainit ang kanyang dugo sa mga ito bakit? kasi po itong mga pariseyo mga eskriba sila po ay nagkukunwari na banal o mababait for example, in today's gospel, our Lord said, uh, you uh, build memorials, meaning statues of the prophets uh, before our Lord. But it was your ancestors 
who killed these prophets and you're putting up these memorials and statues just to show how good and how nice you are. So, you hypocrites, yun ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa ating Ebanghelyo. At uh, sinasabi niya na kayo ay mga banal, kayo ay uh, uh, nagkukunwari na mababait, pero ano naman ang ginagawa ninyo? You are doing injustice to these poor people who come to uh, the temple in order to uh, in order to adore, in order to pray. Pero pinagsasamantalahan naman ninyo sila dahil yung binibili nilang mga kalapati o yung uh, mga uh, tupa ay kayo ang magbebentayan at tinataasan ninyo ang halaga. So you hypocrites, our Lord said. You know, kaya masyadong uh, mainit ang dugo ng ating Panginoon sa kanila dahil sila po ay doble kara. Sila po ay gumagawa, nagpapakitang mga mababait at mga banal. Pero yun naman ginagawa nila ang uh, injustice and uh, um, nagpapakunwari. Now, what is the message and the lesson for us, dear brothers and sisters? Well, we can have our uh, devotions and our practices and that's good, our prayers, our devotions. But what our Lord uh, wants is that our devotions and our practices should also be um, <clears throat> be shown in our day-to-day -day life or in our own uh, in our own moral behavior. Alimbawa, mayroong isa dyan na uh, um, nagkukumunyon, nagsisimba araw-araw. Eh, mayaman po ito. At uh, may mga workers, pero alam po ninyo, ay uh, hindi naman nagbibigay ng sapat o legal na sweldo para dito sa kanyang mga workers. So, nagbubulong-bulungan uh, yung mga uh, tao, yung mga workers, at sinasabi, ito naman uh, boss namin siya ay uh, dasal ng dasal pero masama naman ng asal now for example there is also another way of uh, uh, being uh, hypocrite somehow is again to be very pious with devotions with prayers with going to church every day but uh, she cannot uh, forgive her uh, niece for not only a couple of months or uh, a couple of uh, or, or one year, but times five years. So you see, my dear brothers and sisters, this is what our Lord is trying to say. Yung... Uh, split uh, personality of our religious life. Alam niyo po ang ating bansa ang the biggest number of uh, Christians in the whole of Asia. Pero maybe you know that we are also the highest among uh, Corruption, uh, wrong, uh, uh, different uh, kinds of uh, crimes that are happening in our own country. How can we be a Christian country when there is so much corruption, there is so much violence, there are evils, 
that are happening. So, um, this is what our Lord is trying to say, that we should try to balance our prayer life, our Christianity, with the way we live, with our moral conduct and behavior. Alam niyo, mayroong uh, isang uh, <clears throat> parishioner uh, na lalaki at nakita nung pare ay <clears throat> June, bakit hindi kita nakikitang nagsisimba? Noon, nagsisimba ka. Eh, sabi niya, Father, ayaw ko pumasok sa simbahan. Bakit? Kasi um, marami ang mga ipokrito dyan. Sabi niya, nate-turn off ako. Eh, nag-isip yung pare. And sabi niya, John, huwag kang mag-alala. Mayro pang isang upuan para sa isang ipokrito. So, he pointed his finger at him. Now, what does that mean? That in a way, we are all hypocrites. There's no doubt about that. But with different degrees of our hypocrisy. But knowing that we are all human, well, we can be hypocrites in our own way. But what's important, my dear brothers and sisters, is that if we know that we are hypocrites, then we must uh, strive our best to uh, not live a hypocritical life. That we must reform, we must renew ourselves so that our Lord will say, will not say, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So sana po mga kapatid, ay ito ang uh, pagsikapan natin that we be Christians, we be Catholics, but try to reform ourselves and make our religion, our piety, our devotions in line with our behavior and moral conduct. Amen. We ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our actions. Let us, let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our lives, as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may avoid doing things for the sake of conformity or appearances. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and to come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank you for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us. We pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us include uh, the following for their uh, 
special intentions. Lita Ilano, Rosie Suntai, Joe Valencia, Anita Marie uh, Alanis, uh, Johnny LNC, Paul um, <coughs> Galang and family, and uh, also um, Bernadette Del Valle. Let us pray. Lord, Fa hear our prayer. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart so that we may be able to approach you in spirit. And in truth, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed, by the very mysteries we serve, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Blessed is he who 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy in your presence. <clears throat> Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Bonesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people, and our viewers of our vid uh, live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, as we pray the Lord's Prayer, let us remember a very important message of our Lord, a lesson for us to remember, and that is to forgive one another. Jesus says in the Our Father that if you 
ask forgiveness from God, your Father, then you should also forgive your brothers and sisters who have wronged you. So sana po ay uh, sa buhay natin yan. Hindi lamang yung we recite it or we sing the Our Father, but also to reflect on who is our enemy or certain people we are not in talking terms with. So now let us pray and put to heart and to practice this message of our Lord, forgiveness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, <coughs> give a sign of peace and reconciliation with one another. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be, be with you. With you. Brothers and sisters. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Word of love, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Behold Him also as our spiritual food and nourishment to eternal life. Happy are we who are invited to partake of His heavenly banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Reminder, the Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At 
kung siya'y mamunga ng masagana. Siya sama'y nagbigay ng karangalan. Wala ngayon kayo'y aking sa dilim at kababaan ang kaibigay mag-aalay ng sarili niyang buhay walang hihigit sa yaring pag-aalay ako ng aking ama sa inyo'y aking ipinadarama sa pag-ibig ko kayo sana'y manahan at bilin ko na kayo Magmahalan Mula ngayon Kayo'y aking kaibigan Inangus sa dilim at kababaan Ang kaibigan mag-aalay Nang sarili niyang buhay Walang hihigit Sa yaring pag-aalay Ay pinikat inirang upang mahalin Ng mamunga at bunga mo'y panatili Ayokat, mabunga ng masagana Kagalakang walang hanggang ipamamana Mula ngayon, kayo'y aking kaibigan Sa dilim at kababaan At ang kaibigay mag-aalay Ang sarili niyang buhay Walang hihikit sa yaring pag-aalay Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, <clears throat> that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so we make us share, sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Emperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick, 
with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for, pray for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for pray us. us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongsud. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saints Arnold Jensen and Joseph Reinadimitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for the announcement. Our annual commemoration of the faithful departed during the month of November is fast approaching. We have already prepared the envelopes where you can write the names of your beloved departed. You can find them at the entrance of the shrine or at the shrine office. For those who cannot come here, you may also send the names of your beloved departed to our shrine email, shrine of Jesus the Divine Word at gmail.com, or you may send it via bit.ly slash shrine intentions. If you have other questions, Contact the Shrine Office through our email or our phone numbers at 0928-393-0400 or 7754-2507. You may also visit our Facebook page, The Yosan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Thank you very much. Father Ronnie Arcosostomo, SVD. Shrine Rector. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, I would like to um, again ask you to please help our uh, seminarians. Um, they are going to uh, the second semester uh, soon, and uh, I am appealing for your help or our seminarians, especially those whose families uh, have been uh, affected by the uh, pandemic. Um, they are financially hard up. Kaya sana po matulungan natin ang ating mga seminarista dahil uh, ang mga seminarista po ay yung mga future priests and missionaries and of course bishops and even popes. Ang ikalawa po ay um, uh, I ask and appeal to you um, for some uh, COVID uh, patients uh, I'm helping and it's uh, not uh, easy to help these poor people because they stay at home and their houses are cramped. Kaya nagkakahawa-hawa sila at uh, they infect uh, one another. Pero with the help of uh, uh, medicine and especially uh, <coughs> especially uh, this uh, antibiotics um, they're able to overcome this uh, virus. So, uh, if uh, you can help, you may uh, uh, give any amount. 
and send your donations, financial assistance to uh, my BDO account. Uh, that is Father Isabelo San Luis. Then my account number is zero 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 two two zero zero five one six two three. So that is also in the uh, a screen. It's it's posted. Dear brothers and sisters, let us be charitable, especially during this time. Sabi ng ating Panginoon, whatever you do to the least of my brethren, to the least, to the poorest, then you've done it for me. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord with St. Jude Tadeus. Thanks be to God. Yeah, dude.